circumstances and events that we didn't expect. Some of these circumstances and events can be positive ones, and some can be negative ones. Example of, example of a positive curveball, something unexpected, would be like getting a raise or promotion at work. Or your child gets accepted into a college, or someone announces that they've been engaged or they're expecting a, a baby or they're being pregnant. Those are positive curveballs, something that like, oh, oh, is unexpected. But then again, there's also negative ones. A negative curveball could be um, losing your job, getting fired or laid off from a job unexpectedly. It could be getting, being involved in a very bad car accident, those are unexpected. Or being diagnosed with a terminal illness, those are all negative curveballs that life can just throw at us unexpectedly. I'd like to share with you a recent negative curveball that happened in my life, just as recently as last Saturday. Now, last Saturday, I celebrated my 50th birthday. Believe it or not, I turned, I turned 50 on Saturday, last Saturday, March 4th. And instead of that being a really, a really big celebration for me, a day of joyful celebration, it ended up being a really sad day for me because Early Saturday morning, I woke up to go to work, and I got a call from, my, from one of my brothers. I have six older brothers, and I have a brother living in New Jersey. And he called me to tell me that one of our brothers just passed away suddenly. Oh, God. Just out of the blue, just like that. He just, one, one moment he was with us, and the other moment he is gone. And that was one of those negative curveballs that life can to start you unexpectedly. And it kind of got me thinking, since then, of how life, so short life can be, how unpredictable, and how important, how it's so very important for us to live each day to the fullest and enjoy each day. Hence, that's why I call my speech tonight, Make Today Count. I have a few nuggets, a few um, nuggets to food, food for thoughts that I want to share with you concerning making today count. Be grateful for each day. Start each day <coughs> expressing gratitude. Forget about yesterday with all its trials and tribulation, aggravation and setbacks. The past is already a dream from which we can neither achieve a single word or erase any foolish deeds. Resolve, resolve, Today, that if you have injured anyone yesterday through your foolish acts, through your foolish acts and, th and thoughtlessness, that we will not let today, today's sunset goes we don't, we make, we don't, we, before we make amends. And nothing we do today will be of any greater importance. Fret not the future. Our success and happiness does not depend on straining to see what dim, lurks dimly on the horizon, but to do this day what lies clearly at hand. Treasure this day, for it is all that we have, and live like all good actors do when they are on stage, only in the moment. We cannot perform at our best today by regretting our previous acts mistakes, and, and our previous acts mistakes and worrying about the scene to come. Let us run from no danger we might encounter today because we are, we are certain that nothing will happen to us today that we're not equipped to handle with God's help. <coughs> Live each day as it was Christmas mm -hmm. and be a giver of gifts and give to your enemies forgiveness, your opponent tolerance, your friend, a smile. Yes. Your children, a good example. And wrap each gift with unconditional love. Waste not even a, thing, a precious second today in anger or hate or jealousy or selfishness. Let's remember the seed we sow will, will give us a harvest because every action, good or bad, will follow by an equal reaction. So therefore, let us sow only good seeds today. Face the world with the goal set for today. 
but let it be attainable goals. If we are Yet, and let us not hide our talents. If we are silent, we will be forgive, forgotten. If we do not advance, we will fall back. If we walk away from any challenge today, our self-esteem will be forever scarred. And if we cease to grow even a little, we will become smaller. Let us keep a smile on our face and in our hearts today. We know that the world is a looking glass and it gives back to us the reflection of our own soul. How do we correct the attitude of other people? The secret is we correct our own attitude. Have a positive attitude. Work each day with the strength, content in the knowledge that life does not consist of wallowing in the past or peering anxiously at the future. To do anything that is worth, truly worth doing, we must not stand back and shivering in the cold and thinking of the danger, but jumping with gusto and struggle through to, as well as we can. We will not turn away, turn away from any temptation today that might cause us to break our word or lose our self-respect. We know that I am positive that the only thing we possess more valuable than our life is our honor. Pause whenever we are feeling sorry for ourselves today. And remember that the only, this is the only day we have and we must live it to its fullest. Remember that those who have the fewest regrets are those who take each moment as it comes for all that it is worth. This is our day. This is our, our seed. Thank God for this precious garden of time called today. Let's make today count.